Francis and Bug encounter an elderly brother and sister who know a lot about Bug's condition, and we're going to talk about it right here in our review of Fish Flies number five from Image Comics. See you in three. And welcome back to Comical Opinions. This is our review of Fish Flies number five from Image Comics. And in this issue, we'll reveal the surprising history behind Bug's condition and the legacy of tragedy infecting Francis's town. Before we get started, please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notification. Your attention is greatly appreciated and make sure to stay tuned to the end for the final score. Let's talk about the credits. Fish Flies number five is written by and art by Jeff Lemire with uh, art assist by Beatrix Green. Jeff Lemire also did the colors and the cover art. Letters by Steve Wands. So this is very much almost a solo comic, but Jeff Lemire is getting some help on, on a couple of the items when it comes to putting the visuals together. Before we get into this issue, let's talk about what happened in the previous issue. In the previous issue, Francis and Bug were on the run and they were chased by the police who were responding to the fact that Francis's father is now beaten up and possibly even dead at the hands of Bug when he tried to assault Francis. And they're on the run, they're trying to escape, they head through the woods and they find all kinds of individuals uh, who are also responding to these visions and just sort of this draw, this magical draw from the bugs that are bringing them to the forest, where they find this small alcove with runic symbols carved into the trees and in the ground. Now, eventually, Francis and Bug escape the police, pretty much led by Officer Danny, before he finds them, and they encounter this elderly old man named Butch, and he may or may not be willing to help them. He doesn't seem at least surprised by Bug's appearance. And that's where the issue ends. Sort of a very soft cliffhanger, but a, a, a surprising twist for what's going to happen next. Now we pick up in this issue. Uh, Butch takes Bug and Francis back to his house where they encounter his elderly twin, or paternal, or fraternal or identical, it's not quite clear, but his elderly twin sister, Betty. And they get to the house and they say, go ahead and hide down into the root cellar where we can keep you safe until we can figure out what's going on with the police. When Francis and Bug seem a little bit hesitant about going down into this root cellar, <laughs> when they barely know these people, Butch pounces, he grabs Francis, or I should say, Betty grabs Francis. Butch kicks B Bug down to the steps, locks the door, and they drag Francis upstairs and, and lock her in a room. And what we find out through bits and pieces and swaths of conversation is that Betty and Butch are familiar with Bug in the sense that what has happened to this, this uh, armed robber who has now turned into this monstrous figure, that has happened before. And Betty sort of relays this, not a, quite a legend, but just a little bit of a hint that whenever the fish flies come out in mass and they come out at the same time as, as the blue moon, that something like this occurs. In other words, the, this person turning into this monstrous bug figure has happened before. And Butch and Betty were there and saw one when they were little kids. And they recognize that uh, that can be very dangerous and they have spent their entire lives every time the bugs show up during the blue moon to try and find whoever turns into a bug and make sure that they don't hurt anyone or make sure they don't uh, cause any damage. Plus, they also know that when the blue moon finally ends, which is in a few days, that bug will get progressively weaker and weaker and weaker, which would give them the opportunity to put it down. Francis is horrified. This is my friend. You can't put down my friend. And so she manages to escape. Meanwhile, while all this is happening, Danny is, he's been fired or at least transferred fired. And it says, and his offer and his uh, supervisor told them, if you don't show up at the new precinct where I tell you to go, you're definitely going to be out of the job, but you're off this case and you need to leave this precinct. Danny's basically trying to uh, keep his job and, and try to do the right thing, but he's being pressured to kind of go in a different direction and leave it all behind. But ultimately, he comes to assess his senses after he talks with his girlfriend and says, look, forget your job. Just do what you know you need to do. Find that missing girl, which is Francis. And Danny complies. And then he screeches. He turns around his, his squad car and he begins an investigation and he follows the clues. He does his job, even though he knows doing his job is costing him his job at the same time, which puts him in a bit of a pickle. 
and eventually his investigation leads him to word of a prior family that also also lost a child uh, during a, uh, a a robbery and the child was killed and there were strange events that happened around that death that led to the creation of something that Danny's not quite sure of, but he knows it has something to do with the bugs. And through the investigation of the last time this occurred with a mother who lost a child and strange things happening with bugs, he gets the name of Betty and Butch, the elderly couple that are now currently holding Francis. Danny heads out to their farm to find out what they know or how they're involved in whatever's happening because he's not quite clear. And he finds Butch running out into the yard after uh, Francis helps Bug escape and they leap into the air. Butch, Butch comes out with a shotgun and starts shooting at them to try and bring them down just as Danny's pulling up. And when he f starts hollering at them, what are you shooting at? He looks up in the sky and he sees Francis and Bug leaping away and he can't believe his eyes, but now he knows for sure that something mystical or magical or mythological or supernatural is happening later butch and france uh, not butch and francis but bug and francis land far away but near the river where they can at least hold up or hide out for a little bit and bug jumps into the water when he sees the reflection of who he used to be as a human francis w waits for him and she falls asleep when she wakes up the next morning bug is gone and she doesn't know what to do and doesn't realize where he's gone or what what if he's still a bug or if he's man or if he's something else and doesn't know what to do and that's where we leave it as a special note or just an interesting bit of information in case you're wondering this issue is 6.99 you're like holy cow why is this 6.99 it is a over double sized issue it's about 60 pages or so well, more like 58 pages if you count the, if you take away the cover so it is a double-sized issue, but it's almost double size, double size in the price as well, which may or may not be to your, to, towards your liking, but that's still just the way it is. You do you do get a lot of story in this issue. A lot of things happen. Why they decided to combine it into two issues at double the pli price rather than splitting them up into the normal single issues to continue the mini series? I'm not quite sure, or maxi series, as I should say. Uh, not quite sure, but just be forewarned. You do get a lot of story. But it, and it is an oversized issue, but you're going to pay for it. It's almost $7, which is quite a bit. What do we like about Fish Flies number five? Uh, Jeff Lemire is masterful at giving you this sort of whimsical, just ma supernatural whimsy that's just hanging out underneath the surface of what should be a mundane life in a mundane world. And Francis's adventure is continuing to evolve and to develop and her emotional journey for what's happened to her as being you know, the daughter of a uh, abusive father and always being picked on and bullied in school and now making this friend with this what should be this grotesque monster but somehow finding a kinship and a friendship with him that is some deep emotional level stuff and it continues to progress and continues to involve evolve and to become something unique and certainly different in a magical sort of way. I like that a lot. And especially that now that we're incorporating more of Danny's journey, because now he's going through the ups and downs with the loss of his job, the questioning his understanding of what's real and what's not. And now going through this cycle where now his, his concerns, not concerns, but more of his suspicions that something wasn't quite right or wasn't quite normal have now been confirmed. Now he's along on the journey with them even though he's doing it from a distance. And so the layers of the story are continuing to compound and grow and mature. So on that, from that perspective, it's interesting. What didn't we like about Fish for Lies number five? The story is definitely not a fast paced issue. You feel momentum. You feel that you're moving towards some destination, but where is very unclear. And the pace of that momentum is steady but a little bit slower than maybe most people would like i mean we're at the end of issue five and you just have no idea where the story is headed it's sort of taking its time developing where it's going what it's trying to do what's what's happening and you could say so far up until this point at least for the last three issues it's bug and francis on the run technically speaking from a plot development point of view that hasn't changed much you're adding layers into the world you're building out the characters and they're growing and they're evolving 
but as far as a journey that's going someplace and 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 eventually will wind up someplace it's not i won't say it's nothing's happening but it's not clear what's happening things are happening but it's not clear how they relate to each other necessarily and what what is how they contribute to the destination that hopefully this maxi series will will eventually pay off uh so that piece it feels a little unclear you definitely have to let yourself breathe in the story that Lemire is telling and just let it be what it wants to be and let it develop and evolve into what it eventually become. But you're definitely going to have to kind of commit yourself to the ride because it, it, this pace is steady, but a little bit slower than most folks would be used to for a comic book. And then when you're paying almost double the price, uh, you, you kind of have to commit yourself to the bit basically. And that may never be everybody's cup of tea and you just have to kind of figure whether or not you like that. And that's up to you. Uh, let's talk about the art. The art on this issue is definitely Lemire style. If, you, if you're used to Jeff Lemire style for art, you get that here. And that may not be, that's an acquired taste. It's very stylized. It may not be everybody's cup of tea, but it is what it is. What that means is you have a lot of uniqueness in the character designs. They definitely stand on their own and they stand out. Uh, the facial acting is strong. You can see the looks of concern, suspicion, fear, surprise, happiness, sadness, all the ranges. Amir knows how to get you to understand just through the visuals how the, what the characters are feeling. On the downside, the designs and the character details are definitely sketchy and loose. Uh, you're not talking about, I mean, this isn't the big two type of uh, comic book development here. It's more the character um, designs are more sketchy and that may not, again, that may not be everybody's cup of tea, but if you, if you know Jeff, Jeff Mears art style, you know what you're getting into. Final thoughts. What do we think about Fish Flies number five from Image Comics? Great world building, great character building, great emotional depth, a lot of layers to the character growth and the evolution. On the downside, uh, the the pace is steady uh, and maybe a little bit on the slow side. Plus the plot of you know, where the story's headed and what's going to happen is very unclear. And so you have to really say, if you want to, to find out what happens and you want to get a sense of where this is going and you want to build anticipation for the whatever the end of the journey is, th that part is very vague. And so you have to say, well, I'm just in it for the journey. If you're in it for the journey, you're fine. If you're in it for the journey and the destination, it may feel a little short change, or at least feel like you're not you're not getting what you want out of the story. So it sort of depends on what you're looking for. Therefore, we're going to give Fish Flies number five from Image Comics. Let's say we're going to give it an 8.3 out of 10. There it is. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you want to hear more just like this one, please stay tuned through the outro.